Today on Always Hungry, I'm with Jonathan Agnello. He's the chef owner of the restaurant Stellina in Montreal. And we'll be making some OG Fettuccine Alfredo. Let's go. So first thing first, for pasta, we need pasta dough. Let's get cracking. Jonathan, what do we need? So here you have 24 eggs, one kilo of double zero flour, but AP flour, uh, which you have at home, can work very well, and olive oil. That's all you need, that's all you need, guys. So we're gonna be just separating the egg yolks from the egg whites. So egg yolks in there, egg whites in there. Let's get right. cracking. Uh, in here, Jonathan, you have some, uh, some special eggs. Yeah, these are free run eggs uh, from Ontario. The yolk, as you can notice, that are very, very, very... Very orange. Very orange. So people don't know, but in Canada, these are very hard to find. There's only, uh, I guess, a handful of places where you can find yeah. some, uh, some eggs. So we're obviously Montreal, Quebec, and these are from Ontario. And um, it really does change the, the color of the dough at the end. And I would say even the flavor. The flavor too? Eggs are a lot more uh, flavorful, I would say, than the regular store-bought... Uh, store-bought, uh, cheap-ass, shitty eggs. <laughs> got you, got you. So we have our 24 egg yolks in there. Now we have the kilo of flour. And uh, you have a special technique for the well. You just drop it there and kind of like... Uh, old school style. Old school style. It's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Make a nice little well. There we go. With your hands. There you go. With the hands. This uh, it's a very uh, it's very handy process. Right. Okay? No. Uh, so, is, do you have any like uh, like in the movies? Like, is like uh, your grandma was like making like a fresh pasta on the. No, my grandmother never made fresh pasta. Oh no. No. no? Never. Well, where did you learn pasta? Self-taught, my friend. Really? Yeah. I swear to God. YouTube. No, but yeah, I guess, yeah, restaurants. Uh... Do you count? Do you keep yourself like always like kind of like uh, up to date with like all the new? Yeah, like, uh... of course. Uh, at least once every two weeks, I'm uh, I'm researching like other new things. Of... Yeah, of course, because it evolves just like everything else. Right, you know? everything else like yeah. in the medical business, right? If they don't do these these little updates, these little updates, yeah. they're gonna stick behind, and that's why most of the chefs or restaurant, well, not most, but some, they seem to fail past six, seven, eight years. It's because the chef. Stays with stays these old ways. old ways, and they don't evolve. And what about people like uh, like try to preserve like the Italian like heritage of making pasta? Like, oh, for oh, sure. Because I mean, like even though there's some some slight changes like in the way of doing things, it's essentially the same. You know, it's, it's like, the it's, same process. The only thing is that when you're talking in a restaurant form, I can't start doing ten kilos by hand. Of course you know what not. I mean? yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. different ways of approaching yeah. this. But when you're at home, it's always nice to go back to the roots. And, right, uh, it's fun to get yeah. your hands it's in the dough. Like it's, it. yeah. it's fun. Yeah. I like to get my hands dirty. It's same, so. same. Yeah. So just in the middle. Like there this. we go. Gently pour it in. Beautiful. Wow, look at that color. It's crazy, right? Look at that sound. Yeah, that sound is lovely too. You don't find those eggs at the grocery store. I'll no. tell you that much. At least not in, in Europe. And uh, in Canada. <laughs> So now the goal is just to kind of like break yeah. it down. And remember this technique of going front to back, we're gonna need it later on when okay. we do the pasta. So you just... And, and I know Italians have a name for, for everything, right? So is there is there a name for what you're doing right now? No. No, okay, cool. We never know, we never know. <laughs> so the goal here is to kind of make sure like you don't like mix all the flour at once. You have like a big like... Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, and then I mean, if, if let's say the, uh, we're going by eye, right? Well, yeah. I, don't, I don't weigh anything. So, uh, I mean, uh, sometimes we have too much flour, so we're keeping, we're just adding a bit at a time just so that, you know, now that it's becoming a dough, we can start yeah. using our hands. And you kept you kept the egg whites in case you're... Yeah, but I, the we barely egg. use them. I mean, uh, this is a rich, rich, rich yeah. dough, just yolks. Just yolks. If you yeah, be so you. kind, putting some olive oil. Tell me when to stop. Go for it. All right, we're good. good. Thank awesome. you. No worries. So you see, we probably won't even need all, all the flour. flour, right? Yeah. So that's why we'll push it on the side. On the side. And we'll need, if we need, we add. But there right now, go. it looks like we're good. No waste, no waste. Zero. It's not your first dough, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I never saw, I mean, I've never made a dough with that color, like. Yeah, it's. That's, that's really just yeah. the egg yolks, that's crazy. Just egg yolks. Just egg yolks. 
So you see, when, when it's becoming like this, like yeah. I'm in mean, here, or else we're gonna have to knead it for 10 minutes. I love to just use just a bit, a bit of, water, of water. Yeah. Just to make it a bit moist, and it's gonna help me out. So what was the motion like? Just so we can understand, like you're kind of like just. Yeah, so you bring it back, yeah. and then you're spreading it like that. Okay? Yeah, and, and then it turn back. it around, and turn it same around. thing. Just stretching out the dough, basically. Yeah, working those gluten. Yeah. That's crazy, we almost like uh, didn't use exactly. half the flour. And if you think about it, one kilo rule of thumb would be one egg for 100 grams, so. We would use 10 whole eggs for, but for all this. Ten, okay, 10 whole eggs. 10 whole eggs instead of 24. Right. That's why this recipe is a lot more expensive. Oh, for sure, yeah. But the result is much better oh, because sure. egg whites is basically water. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. Pretty and much. look how much water you're putting in the dough. And the color would probably be very different too, right? No, it would be white. It would be white. So once your dough is done, you wrap it in plastic film, put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to rest, and then it's good to go. So fingers should go right in. And then, phew, go back up. Go it's back getting up. there. It's good. It's getting there. <laughs> there you go, it's getting there. It's coming up. So you see how beautiful the dough is? It's nice and smooth, like a baby's butt. There you go. So next step. It's time to roll out the pasta. Roll the pasta. What do we need? Uh, let's grab a rolling pin. Rolling pin, I got, yeah. I got. And if you have options for you, sir. You want the big one, the small one? Let's go with this one. Because size, size does size matter. Size does matter. Size does matter when talking rolling pins. <laughs> and then you need some semolina as well? Nope. No. Nope. So no flour for, for, uh, for like... No, there you no go. need. You would only add flour if the dough was stickier? Uh, Wetter? When, when we're passing it through, uh, when we're sheeting it, we'll, okay, add, yeah. we'll add some flour. Perfect. But right now, we don't need... So uh, I didn't show, but I mean, I'm doing my first fold. These folds permit the pasta uh, for good consistency and chew. So okay. we're working yeah. the glutens in and out. And so we try fold, try three, fold first. Extend another time and then another okay, time. Got so you, we do got three you. times at least. Okay, got you, got you. And uh, I think we didn't mention it yet, but we're gonna be making, uh, what kind of pasta today? We're making some uh, fettuccine. Fettuccine alfredo, I said it before. Yeah. I said it, I said it before. <laughs> and we're gonna be cutting the pasta uh, by- By hand. By hand, I mean, by, by, by knife, by hand knife. There we go. We'll do the next fold. Next fold like this. Yeah. Like this, towel. To the middle, exactly. And then towel here. Perfect. And then boom. We'll leave a bit more space. Bit more space. It's not sticking at all. I mean, no. It's sick. So when you're extending it, when when you're rolling it out, you want to try to make it. You don't just want to roll it. You want to make it nice and uniform. You okay. Know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be easier Keep when, it a nice when we sheet it. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes people like would always complain about prices of pasta in restaurants. I mean, obviously you have those shitty pasta places, like proper places doing like proper pasta. This is why you pay, you know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks for pasta, because like it's it's a labor of love. You know, you use like the prime, the finest eggs you can find, the best flour. Um, it takes time to do, and uh, you know, and you know, just for this pasta here, we have like what? How much? How much worth of eggs? 24, 24 eggs have tripled the price of regular eggs, uh, good flour, uh, 30 minutes of resting, uh, 30 minutes of sheeting, portioning. Yeah, people don't, a, people sometimes forget to like, uh, I guess include like the, the labor, right? Just yeah, the time of making the, this the pasta. It's like, it doesn't come on, you know, from a, from a secret pantry to your, to your, your pot and your pans. It's like, it's uh, lots of work takes behind. Takes time, there. lots of work behind. Yeah. So we're, we're done with the folds. We can start. Uh, we can start sheeting our pasta to. Uh, sheeting our pasta to yeah. the laminator. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. Right, cool. uh, now we have our pasta sheeter, pasta laminator, whatever it's called. You can use like the uh, manual, old school one, and do it by hand. Or you know, we're lazy, so we're just gonna do it like this. <laughs> and he added some semolina flour on yeah. the dough, right? Yeah. So, what uh, what's very important, especially if you're doing pre, if you're pre-making pasta, uh, using flour, it's very fine. So it'll grab a lot of moisture, a lot right. of humidity, yeah. and that's why pasta is gonna stay. Uh, it, it tends to stick right 
when you shape it. Semolina is coarser. Yeah. Before it grabs the humidity, it takes a lot of time. So, so it, we it use coarse semolina. Right. Once we sheet and make the fettuccine and we portion them, we drench it in semolina. Right. So that'll take longer. And, and that doesn't really penetrate the dough, right? It's no, kind of no, like no, no, exactly. Where flour can exactly. get flour, it kind of like adds more flour to the dough in yeah. a way. So this is gonna keep it intact, like nothing's gonna stick. Exactly. Do you even add like some in there too? That's gonna fall through, yeah. <laughs> There you go. That's gonna be some sick shots. So the goal here is we start from the... Number one and we number go to one. number eight. Oh, some to number eight, some yeah. sheeters are 10 to one. Yeah. Depends, yours is uh, upside down. Upside so. down, so make sure you get it right because it can <laughs> fuck up your whole pasta. Yeah. There you go. It can be a disaster, maybe even break a machine. There you go, you want to try for a I can, camera? I can give it a try, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, the dough feels nice. I yeah, never, never nice. touched a dough that's Silky so smooth, baby. Yeah. Now, am I going up or still in the same... Uh, you can go where, wherever well, you want, okay. uh, whatever is more comfortable for you. Just give it the direction with one hand and you grab it on the other side. There you that's go, it. there you go. It's like I did this my whole life, guys, you know? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna call you Lorenzo today. Lorenzo da Genese. Lorenzo, Lorenzo da Genese, you see. <laughs> and then I would okay, go to so another... Now, uh... now, just so that it's okay. easier for okay, us, we'll yeah, cut yeah. it in yeah. half so that, you yeah. know. So here. Unless you, you wanna do it long, man. It's a no, few. I mean, it could be good for the show, but it's still gonna be long anyways, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. All right, now we're gonna take this to, we're gonna go one by one, or yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna go, go to four now. Four, okay, there exactly. you go. All right, sick. Thank you, sir. Oh, get in there. Bravo, Lorenzo! Oh, grazie, grazie mille, grazie mille. <laughs> this feels nice, you know? It's just like... Uh, it's therapeutic. It's, yeah, it is, yeah. it is. And now, every time I go one... Exactly. Up one, there you go, that's five, perfect. You probably won't reach to eight, because no, I think, I think it's gonna be too fine, yeah. yeah. So what's, it, what's like the... When you do like... Um, uh, when you're doing non-stuff pasta, you always want to keep it just a, a touch bit thicker. Jesus Christ. Okay, there you go, got it. You know, to have some sort of consistency. It's start a nice, some nice bite to it. Yeah, exactly. But also depends what sauce you're doing. I mean, for the burro parmigiano, it's nice to have it thin and melt in your mouth. Right, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you don't yeah. want it too thin that it overcooks and it's just mush, you know? Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. would go maybe one more. One and more? That's it. So yeah. we'll take it up to six then. Six should be the last. Uh, yeah. Uh, get in there. There you go. Is that good for you? Are you yeah, happy with this? We're yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, so all our passes has been uh, through the sheeter or laminator, and now we have uh, our stacks of pasta. We keep them similar enough between each uh, exactly. layer, so, so nothing stick. sticks. So now it's time to cut the pasta. Uh, we could uh, we could have you know like do it with uh, the fettuccine attachment, but it's nothing uh, as like doing it with uh, with a knife. So uh, walk us through it when we roll it, this out. Yeah, exactly. So um, I mean, depends who you are as well. I'm a type of person, like, like I said before, I'm very traditional when it comes to pasta. Um, and I hate when pasta's so like cookie cutter perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, So yeah. even yeah. if you see here it's round and it's a bit, who this cares? Is this is, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is Nonna's house. This it's, is Lorenzo's house. Let's see, keep it rusty, exactly. rusty, rustico, rustico. <laughs> so there you no, go. I, okay. I agree, I, f I feel like, uh, I, I like I like perfect imperfections. Exactly. Cooking, you know. Exactly. It's like so. you're in, in French cooking. You always like that to like uh, cut everything like perfectly, like in uh, in like nice little cubes. Yeah. I like to like do random shapes. It's like it's more it's more natural. I like the, the natural shapes, not like everything like precise with like a ruler. It's like exactly. Uh, so. Yeah. That's it. And now we have the fettuccine all done. I, here. You see, I thought fettuccine were like um, a bit thinner in my head because the people are always like uh, confused like. Tagliatelle, fettuccine, linguini, uh, linguini uh, spaghetti, uh, pappardelle. Yeah. So what, what's what's a good like uh, way to remember like? Uh, Oof. So that's like under this would be tagliatelle. Under this, yeah, would be tagliatelle. Then under that would be linguini. Linguini. And then and, under uh, and over this would be pappardelle. Over this would be pappardelle. Yeah. That's it. Exactly. And those are the only like uh, flat, long passage. Well, shape that the, you, have, I, right? I, you know what? There's about. 300 and some passes. Yeah, I'm probably yeah, missing yeah. one, who knows? Yeah, you know? probably. <laughs> you can see the, the richness of the dough already. Look how beautiful the color. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Okay. And at this point, you want to make sure nothing sticks together once they're all separated, right? So. That's it. 
I guess you don't fuck with like the, do you do like the... Well, I, I, again, at the restaurant, yes, because we portion them out. So oh, I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll take each one and then... What's we'll, the technique? Show me. I want to I know. Not to so do let's that. say uh, we'll, I'll take it and I mean, I'll... Uh, it'll be in a bigger bowl yeah, than yeah, this yeah. and like dredge, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. dredge it in in uh, in semolina and then I just do like put a it nice like that. Nest. Or you can, you know, take it like this and like place it like that. Okay. So Which, whichever one you want. Okay, oh I like this, I like yeah. this. It's clean, yeah. Yeah. So a little nest, and that's only when you need to do like uh, a portions for later, right? Exactly. And once once they're like all like instantly, they're never gonna stick together, even even like this. Well eventually they will, they if will, they yeah. stay forever, but uh if you're using them that day or even the day after, as long as you, you drench them with, with uh, either uh, semolina or rice flour. Rice flour works well as rice well. Flour. Yeah, it doesn't stick. Is that is that is that approved in, in Italy or is that? I have no uh, idea. It's on, only if it's uh, with uh, Italian rice. Probably. Exactly, of course, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. arboreal rice yeah, flour. Arboreal rice, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the pasta is all done. Now let's get to the fun stuff. We have our big wheel of parm. Now just for people at home that don't know, uh, this is a 24 months Month. age Parmesan wheel, and um, this goes for about 1,200, 1,200 Canadian dollars, so maybe like uh, 900 US. 900 US. Yeah. So obviously, you guys don't need to have this for the recipe, but uh, we do. I mean, they do at the restaurant. So, uh, but we we also show you a way to do it uh, in a pan without the big wheel, but you know we have it so. Um, so, let us know the, the whole thing about Alfredo. I heard there's a story about yeah, uh, so, Mr. Alfredo. So, Alfredo Di Lelio, uh, which is the man who invented this, this beautiful dish in 1914, um, his wife had just finished giving birth. Well, this is what the story says. Yeah. Has finished giving birth and she uh, didn't want to eat. Right. She was not hungry. And he tried everything possible to make her eat until he made her a nice plate of fettuccine butter and parmigiano right she ate it up and then since then she got back her appetite so uh right after that he opened uh, him, uh, his first restaurant on uh, in rome on uh, via della scrofa oh. and uh since then i mean uh, he was the, the rest is history was the only serving uh this he was pasta? serving other stuff but i mean this was that the was specialty the, the, the star of the and show. if you go uh, if you go to rome uh there's still the restaurant where they're making a table side uh like we're gonna do uh, in a bit yeah they're doing a table side. They're mounting the pasta table side. So they always have this big wheel. Not the wheel. They're, they're doing the wheel. it on the plate oh, itself. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. But the they're mounting school. it in front of you. And, uh, I fucking love that, by the way. It's really nice I like to it. see. Like, yeah. even like, you know, for French restaurant with like the, table the, the duck press. Like, uh, the crepe suzette table yeah, yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I it's love amazing. this shit. Yeah. You know, it's like, don't do it anymore. It's, it's no. sad because it's a very, very sick uh, experience. And uh, so people always think like that uh, fettuccine Alfredo, like here, is like the, the white man pasta. It's like the, the thing you see like in frozen you know, like a little shitty pasta. Uh, what's the thing that people add in North America or, you know, the rest of the world that's like not proper Italian? Is well, the, the cream? It's, it's the cream, it's the cream. So I don't know where people went wrong. Well, like, uh, like the carbonara, right? Yeah, people, like the carbonara. Because add uh, green peas and cream. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, they're, they're tricky pastas to mount. I mean, the butter can split, so that's why uh, the easier oh, way... It's like a little, it's, it's like a hack, right? Exactly. Like a hack it's a cream. little cheat, but... Well, I guess when it comes down to it, like the... People use cream because obviously, like the the goal is like to get to a point where you have like a super creamy pasta without using cream. So yeah. you have because uh, you know it's like the starch of the pasta, you have the butter, you have the cheese that all is gonna you know, come together and also find into a beautiful creamy pasta. People who can't really achieve this easily would just add cream. So. Exactly or uh, financial. Uh reasoning oh. you know it's very expensive to use all this butter oh, all this yeah, 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 yeah. you know what i mean so i mean I, we don't blame certain no, people for, for, yeah. for doing these little hacks but uh but we're gonna show you the proper the way proper the original way, way and, and uh, then do whatever way you want but exactly. uh, at least you know the right way to do it what's the first step here we have the water almost, boiling. almost boiling so we'll start by putting the butter uh, so you need to get, get your hands dirty get for your this. Hands dirty. And you know what? No, no gloves. I hate people doing the gloves in the video. It's like you're eating at home. We're not. We're not a restaurant right here. No, exactly. You no, know? it's like we're not serving people. We're just gonna just for us. So use your hands. Hands are clean. So we just kind of take the butter and exactly. kind of spread it in there. Well, we'll, we'll pat it down as if like you're okay. patting down a, a, a dough. Exactly. Okay. There you go. There you go. Obviously, use some room temperature butter. Yeah. You want like a thick layer, or like a fine layer. Yeah, I like that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. and in between. So it's a very rich pasta. It's a very rich saying. pasta. So we'll put maybe three or four blocks like okay. that. Okay, that makes sense. So if you're on a diet, guys, maybe not the best pasta. No. But you know, 
Life's too short for diets. <laughs> That's crazy. So this is boiling. I have some coarse salt somewhere in here. Do a nice salty in there. There you go. Right, go for it. There you go. And this is also kind of crazy, guys, but always taste your water before, because you never know. So uh, there's, yeah, you can do that, or you can go crazy like me and dip your finger. But only do that if you're a chef and you have uh, fucked up fingers like us. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, tastes like the ocean, we're good. Yeah. All right, so, uh, pasta, we're gonna do, uh, yeah, so. we're gonna do a half for, uh, for now, for this, uh, this version, and then we'll show you how to do the, the pan version. So, half the pasta, that looks like a half. Yeah, we'll do that. Do that here. Do you need to shake off the excess before? Yeah, yeah. or if, if, even if it goes inside, it's fine. Okay, cool. When you get starchy water, it's never and a bad should, thing. This should take like, what, two minutes? No, this is gonna take about 25 seconds. 25 yeah. seconds. <laughs> so, guys. Fresh pasta. Don't fuck this up. There you go. That's very quick. So, st stuff, fresh pasta would take like more like two, three minutes? Or? Yeah. Okay, well, cool. it's, again, it depends when you make it, but uh, they usually take very, very quick. Very quick. Which is the fun part, you don't know. Yeah, you don't have to wait minutes. Uh, 40 minutes. I mean, sometimes it's nice to start your pasta and then kind of like have this competition, like I gotta finish a sauce before the pasta. You yeah, know? It's like, yeah, I, like, yeah, I like that, yeah. you know? It's like real real time cooking. Uh, I always look for the worst one. Oh, that's the worst one, there yeah, you go. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and we like to taste it. Do, do you try it? Or yeah, just okay. hand, hand feel it? I hand feel it, or if you're risky, if you're, uh, if you're risky enough. If you're, mm. if you're crazy like us, you can just spray it. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, this is ready. Good to go? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put this straight in our wheel of parm. There you go. That was pretty quick. That's like it, a exactly. 30 seconds, done. So now we're gonna add a bunch of parm in there. Parm and maybe a little ladle of water. Yeah, here. This much? Yeah, Full that's one? fine. No, less than that. Less than that, yeah, that's well, good. We can always add. Around it. There we go, there perfect. You go. Perfect. That's it. And now, and now you said you have an interesting technique. Yeah. So here, I mean, right? this is the technique that they're using. It's uh, they'll, they'll they'll shake the pasta three times and then move it table side. So one, two, three. What was three. the reason for this? Uh, there's no. They're just mounting oh. the pasta. You okay, know, yeah, I, yeah. I like to do it a certain way. They were like they like to do it a certain and it's way. It's probably to not like overwork it too. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God! Already. This is creamy. And you gotta keep working at it. Make all the butter. And and the uh, the water. Just the sound is. Yeah. Look at that sound. Oh, it's the sound of love right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we take all reminds this. Reminds me of last night. <laughs> oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh. And, and and if you see the color, look, it looks like the Alfredo with the cream. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah. There's ne there's no cream exactly. in there. Exactly. Just a lots of lots of butter, yeah. lots of cheese. So obviously, like people when they do this on the wheel, is that just for the show? Like it's for the show. It's for the show, and I mean, there's flavor too, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, it's so. flavor too, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. All right, so now we're ready to plate. We're need a plate. So <laughs> guess we need a plate. We're gonna need a plate. So plate that up, and you don't put black pepper in there, just like no, a, no, you no. Put no, some no. at the end, or no? Not no, even. Not no, not even. No pepper. Because I feel like also that's the thing that you also also see like in uh, North American Alfredo, always no a put. shitload of black pepper. Because you want to keep it like nice and delicate. Pepper kills this pasta. That's why the cacio e pepe was invented. <sighs> See, that's why we have <laughs> fucking Jonathan here, because <laughs> he's here go. to let us know here like uh, the real deal, and right? I More love to finish top. that off. Oh, right yeah, here. of course. There we go. That's beautiful. And here we have the fettuccine Alfredo, the OG. The OG, the OG. The OG. See, that's a real way to do it. It's tasting time. There you go. Maybe it won't be a thing, maybe it'll be a thing, you know, we'll see. But look at the creaminess. That's a real Alfredo. It's beautiful. No pepper, no cream, just love, butter, cheese, and skills. And yeah, I guess. Right, let's get in there, buddy. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, wow, look at this. Nice long pull ready? for you. Nice long pull for you. See that? See that? See that? Okay, wait, I'm gonna do a Decent size bite. That's too big. Wait. 
Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, well, Jonathan, cheers. cheers. How Hold do you on. say, uh, Buon appetito. There we go. Buon appetito. Buon appetito, Buon appetito bitch. Mm. 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 Fuck. That's nice. That's something else. <laughs> that is something else. If you never tried a proper Alfredo, you're not living right. This is how it's done. I feel like everything I tried before in the past is just sad memories now, you know? <laughs> just sad. This is the perfect pasta. And I agree on one thing, the pepper would have probably killed this. Yeah. Because you would like lose the fine notes of, um, hey, I'm full of pasta in the face. <laughs> mm. I feel like you would lose like the, because the, the, the delicacy. What was the, was the start of the show here? It's the parm, right? Yeah. The parm is the start of the show, so Pepper would definitely overpower this. For this uh, this part, I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, at home. You know, because we guys we're talking about you guys. You know, it's not about all you know for our, for our fun. You know, I mean it is, but also we gotta show you guys how to do it um, if you don't have a fucking two thousand dollars wheel of parm. So. So same same kind of thing, John is uh, you have butter in there and yeah. some uh, some and pasta water. Pasta exactly. water. Exactly. So we're gonna make the emulsification. There you go. With the pasta water. So we'll cook those again, like 30 seconds more uh, max. And so what were you doing right now? Is like kind of like emulsifying the butter with, with the water. With the exactly. water. Yeah. I feel like people sometimes forget how important the water part is in pasta, Pasta right? water is 50% of every pasta. You need it. It's what does uh, Pasta Queen calls it? The tears of the gods? The tears of the gods. The tears of the gods, you know? <laughs> All right. Shout to Pastor Queen. Oh, wow. And we're right in the sun, too. How perfect is that? Beautiful. Do you need more water in there? Are you no, good? We're good. I'll discard this shit right now. There you go. So it's very important that you keep mixing. So it's gonna, the starch is gonna come out, create that creaminess, you oh see? Oh my God, dude. And now we're good in thickness. We can shut everything off. And very important, Pardon? cheese off the fire. Off the all fire. All the time. And People why? make this mistake. You don't want to cook parm. It's gonna all get stuck at the bottom. The, the fat separate. And it's you a won't, big mess after it's that. a big mess. So and you, and you can't you can't fix that, right? You can't fix that. Once it's done, it's done. So you're ready for the man. Don't put your parm on the fire. Always off. Oh yeah. That sound. There we go. It's so it's so hard for me, like with fresh pasta, because it's like the I feel like the, the line between like perfectly cooked and overcooked yeah. is like so like but even like if uh, if visually it looks like it's overcooked. Like the, the mouth feels so just, yeah, 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 like, but those yeah. are the folds we were talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. where they come into play. So it's very important that you, you trust the process. Yeah, and, trust and, the process. And, and don't cut corners because don't then that's corners. what happens. See, don't cut corners. Don't be a loser. There you go. All right. So I'll plate this here. More parm, obviously. There we go. Wow, wow, wow. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Always Hungry. Thanks to my good friend Jonathan for coming and give us a nice uh, pasta 101 because you know obviously lots of uh, misconceptions about pasta um, and now we know how to do a proper fettuccine alfredo and we even know the story behind it. So thank you so much for coming. I know you're very busy, so we really appreciate it. And, uh, and on this, uh, if you like the video, leave a comment, leave a like, hit that bell, make sure you don't miss the next video and we'll see you next time on Always Hungry.